This is the water pressure switch. Um, it works. This, this isn't a part of our unit. This is just so I don't have to blow in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it sits inside the control panel with everything else, and this end of it um, attaches right, right on here. So the thermostat bulb well gives in this one, and then the, the water pressure switch gives in here. So you're watching temperature and then water pressure. We don't have a water flow switch, it's a water pressure switch. So it's, it's um, that's important to remember when, when they say it, 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 um, the unit's not running. One thing to check is water pressure. Does your filter need cleaned out? You know, if you, is, your, is your pool system just you know, kind of bogged down from a cloud filter? Go bump the filter down and does the heater then all of a sudden kick on when you know it's a water pressure issue? Um, another way to do it is if they've got two jets in their pool, Put your hand over one, cause some back pressure. If that's enough back pressure to kick the heater on, it's a water pressure issue. Clean the filter or um, check to see if the pump uh, basket has leaves in it, which degree. And it's just. Um, How much are we allowed to adjust this? That's going to be depending on the installation. I don't know if this is. Do you see the piston in the center moving up and down? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be close. Yeah, there's a little nipple on the switch here, and if there's enough pressure of it in the water, that'll go up and actually activate the switch. There's a this this switch right here is very similar to the switch that's down inside here. When the there's actually a refrigerant in this little ball. Oh, really? Yeah, and when the, when uh, when it gets warm, it expands just like the other oh. like the refrigerant unit, and that expansion goes through the tube, pushes this diaphragm, and activates the switch. So it's the same same uh, theory. So when the water pumps on, that pushes up, activates the switch, and sends water down. If your unit's running because the thermostat's calling for heat and it's heating and heating, and you need to bump your filter down, you shut your pump off. That's what disengages and shuts the heater off. So you don't have to shut the heater off and then turn your pump off. You can just shut the pump off. The heater will see the water pressure drop. It'll shut itself off. Then it goes down to the 